Hello and welcome to another video. So this is the Truth About Parenting video. So it's my son's birthday this week and I thought that I would do another video because I didn't I can't remember if I did one last week because <laughs> uh, last last two weeks has been half term. But he's now back at school. Um and I was just gonna because one thing that uh, you could do uh, as a birthday gift is do something where they can build something or create something. Um I want to because Henry loves trains. So I went out today to, because he's been asking for a very large Thomas the Tank Engine train, which I've got in my bag. Now I know you might not watch my videos, but just in case, I'm not going to show it. Just, you know, if I want to, um, obviously I want to keep it a secret, so, but, um, as such, but, <laughs> um, but if you want to make, one thing that I want to make Henry, if I can get my words out, is to make him a, a using a cardboard box, make him um, his own London Waterloo station. Because he had been asking to for a, would, he wants the train, so that's been hard to find, a Southwest train uh, model. So I might write to Southwest trains and see if they have anything like that. Anything like that. Um, or again, make one. Um, but I'm also going to make him uh, out of a box, out of a box, and I will show you when it when it's done. Um, because I've, I saw a picture, found a picture on Google of the front of um to so we'll get into that another water station. There's that one on the front, and then I'm going to do, do you find another picture of inside the station and um, put it in the box via print him. Um, and so I want to make him his own sort of London Water Station and that's a really good thing you could do is arts and crafts um, with your kid getting out and if you've got more children you know you can get them involved um, and it's just a great activity to rather than a present that isn't just another present you know if you know what I mean I think doing different things like that to make puts value on the, the things that your children Love, you know, I mean they swap and change all the time and they do Henry has now started to watch Only Fools and Horses for example now I been watching that but he was no influence. He just came across the, the videos on his tablet and now he won't stop watching for Only Fools and Horses <laughs> um, And so he's got a bit off of tipping point that was one of his favorite and but he's got a tipping point machine uh, and again, if you didn't come afford to buy one of those, you can easily make one out of a shoe box. Um, and I would like to do show some arts and crafts, the things you could do with your kids. So when I get on my craft stuff um, with me again, I will, uh, you know, show some of the bits that I like to make um, and things that you can do in terms of presents. Um, giving things like um, a skincare. Now, for me. You have to be careful because children's skin can be very delicate um, and they don't have to have a bath every day because you suppose because you need to allow their body to breathe and be away from chemical and I don't use anything that's uh, perfumed or soap in it I use like moisturizer I use a like, sanic that a bath um, because that's because he has had issues with eczema um, and that's something you need to be very careful of when you buy toiletries to make sure that their that their skin can handle different products um, and also you know they will put things like that in their mouth so that's another reason why I stay, really, I stay clear of skincare products for children just in case but I mean, I've got this from Poundland. Now, if they are really into beauty, because I've got my nieces who love doing their hair, love to paint their nails, love putting a little bit of makeup on, um, and so I've got this product from I found it in Poundland, and it's a it's a um, detangling spray, and these are brilliant. Um, I've used it on my hair, and I have not any side of, like issues with it. Um, but you could always test it out and just do one like, little squirt just to see and rub it into the hair um, to see how what difference it makes. But if they do react, then obviously don't use the product. But 
I was going to also check the back, check the ingredients that you're gonna, that's in the product. Very important. Uh, and this is another product that I use for um, refreshing my hair. Now, for kids, it's not advisable to use these products because, again, their hair is still growing. Their hair is still... Because sometimes you'll find that their hair will change colour. Now, one of my, one of my friends, uh, when she was born, she had blonde hair. But now she's very dark, dark hair. Well, now she dyes it and everything. But her uh, real hair is... She, she's a brunette. She's got brown hair. So, um, you have to be careful because the skin and the hair change all the time. Uh, but things like stationery, really good. Um, you know, so, I mean, and um, you could make like many different things. Like, I mean, I'm using this as my cup holder now. Obviously, make sure you wash it out, but you can easily decorate it, uh, cover the front, um, and, you know, and put some like pen like pencils pens a ruler like this one is very good but just make sure they be careful with their fingers um but you know and then i've got these are not mine but the be careful see with scissors but i give them a little pair of scissors for arts and crafts but always make sure you're supervising them when they're using those types of items um same with jewelry um now i've got some lovely pieces of jewelry um I have my jewellery in a tin and I also have this, this is a caddy that I got from Poundland and again you could use that to put like, different um, bits and pieces in but obviously again be careful because sometimes uh, they can be allergic to gold or silver, gold mainly uh, products so again if, if they have a reaction take the earrings out don't leave them in the air because they can become infected. So I so, so but what I'd like to do is buy bracelets for my, my nieces. I love so you know something I like to buy them. You know a nice little bracelet. Um, well obviously if they're climbing something, take the jewelry off. And that's the other thing you could do. Instead of picking uh, buying uh, materialistic things, you can also a good um, present is to because an experience. I did this for one of my nieces, uh, well, for, for all my nieces uh, one Christmas, uh, where they got to feed their giraffes, and they had a year to use 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 the um, the vouchers that I put for them to do that, and they absolutely loved it. So, and the experience is really good. And what I did, I put it in a letter for them, and made it, it was a letter from Santa. Sorry if that spoils it for them. <laughs> I was giving the game away, but they're a lot older now anyway, and they know what, uh, who really delivers the presents of Christmas. <laughs> um, and sorry, you know, kids watch this because I've just blown the trumpet. I've just told the whole world that Santa doesn't exist, but actually he does. He just often, you know, I, <laughs> you know, don't worry, he knows how to message parents. <laughs> from the North Pole uh, and then my kids will be looking at the phone now and saying is that Father Christmas? Is that Father Christmas? <laughs> um, <laughs> so but anyway um, so when it comes to presents be careful of like skincare jewellery um, and also I mean if they're into they, they have a place called um, Flip Out if you've never been there they, that is trampolining. Now, because of lockdown, I don't know, it, you probably will have to pre-book. Or, I, don't, I haven't really checked to see if these venues are reopened, but uh, if not, I mean, there's plenty of things you do. Take them roller skating through a park. Uh, as long as they know how to skate and that they get, they practice first before they do that. So, a set of skates, really good. I, as a kid, I loved my skate. I love my skates, pardon me. Um, also, that Henry's got a uh, a um, a, 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 a um, scooter, and he's also got um, a skateboard. That's what I meant. Um, as well, so their products are really good. Uh, and what products, items are really good because it encourages them to get outdoors and, and it's good for their coordination, their motor skills. 
So, you know, you can't go wrong with those sorts of presents, but obviously make sure they practice to use them first. Um, and do it where it is, they, you know, you try on concrete, but just be careful. Oh, again, make sure they've got a helmet on, make sure they've got uh, elbow pads on, knee pads. Um, well, I never used to wear those sorts of things as a kid because it didn't, it wasn't something that was the practice, but now, uh, definitely would say so put on your, um, make sure they've got a helmet on because I have seen so many injuries from skating and, and you know, um, scooters and the kids do fall with them. So, you know, make sure they've got, and that's another thing you can add in their present with the scooter, get them the whole set if you, if you can afford it, of course. Um, the place that I always go to is someone, I mean, I bought that one from a, a Dougal toy shop in Epsom um, and so and today ran that train I mean I was going to go to Hamley's and buy it but I found it in the a kids store in Putney and um, they put it aside for me because they weren't taking a uh, debit card they were only taking cash at the time so um, but anyway you, you can find some really good gifts obviously be aware if you're going to give food nuts because uh, obviously lots of kids have nut allergies also if they're gluten free um you know you don't want them to have a reaction when they just want to enjoy their christmas their birthday present and also this, you could use these, these tips for christmas because it's not far away now and i'm trying to avoid talking about it yet it's like oh now i'm gonna leave it till um december <laughs> You know, I'm not going to go mad this year. It's going to be a nice, I would just want a nice and quiet Christmas this year. Um, but I will go out for what my usual um, Christmas walk, if I can. Because uh, that's something I like to do every year. But, um, yeah, it's just, you know, um, keep it simple. Keep it, it doesn't have to be expensive. I mean, you could make yourself a tin if you don't to save Christmas. You know, don't forget to save your change because every penny counts. And what you could do is have like a have. One time I was, I did have like a Christmas fund, um, and I haven't done that this year because I didn't really want. I, I, I didn't want to think about Christmas. Um, you know, from January like I normally do. I wanted to wait, and uh, that's how I feel this year. That I just want to wait until December um because i just i'm not ready ready for it yet. i know a lot of people are but i'm not at the moment so um but i hope you can get something from these tips so uh thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye